If you have been using an iPhone for a really long time, you probably have downloaded a ton of apps on your device. There are millions of apps you can download from the App Store and there are other alternatives which you can use to download apps, making the amount of apps that you can install on your device pretty much unlimited. But there are a ton of apps that you should actually not be using on your device. A lot of them will actually be bad for your device. Some of them are just useless and you don't need to spend your money and your time with those apps, like flashlight apps. You probably have seen on the App Store there are a ton of flashlight apps. Most of them will be free, but even though they are free, they will show you a ton of ads on your device. And they might even require like different permissions like to track you and have like access maybe to your local network or something like that. Those apps shouldn't be on your device. You can just use the normal flashlight button from the control center. If you don't have it, you go to your settings. And then from the control center here, just go ahead and add the flashlight. You don't need any flashlight apps on your device. They will just require like different permissions and of course show you a ton of ads that's not really good for your device. Next up will be apps that will require permissions that they don't need to. So let's say you install the game or basically an app that doesn't have anything to do with your photos, but it still requ is requiring permission to your photos. Don't use that app. It's doing something weird because it doesn't have any business to be on your photos. If you're not using an app which requires you to save photos from the app to the app to the photos library or upload any photos to that app, that app doesn't need to have any access to your photos. So if you're seeing that within an app, make sure you remove that app completely from your device and other permissions as well. So you know when you're using different types of apps, they will require different types of permissions. But just be aware what permissions you're giving to what apps. Some apps don't have any business being on your contacts or maybe your local network, your photos or even the location. So choose wisely what permissions you're giving to any app and when you see an app requiring a permission that it doesn't need to, make sure you immediately delete that app from your device. Next up will be apps that are tracking your location all the time. So if you go to your location service settings right here, you will see the apps that have permission to your locations. Let's say you installed a new app and once you open the app, you will notice that the basically the location services icon will show right there on the status bar. That is an indication that uh, that app is using currently your location. But if you have an app that actually you don't need to have the location tracked all the time, maybe like of course any navigation app would do that, but other apps don't need to do that. So if you're seeing that an app while you're using is showing right there that is tracking your location all the time, that is an app that doesn't have to be on your device. Immediately make sure you go ahead and delete that app and basically just search for any other alternatives on the app store. Next up would be antivirus apps. You don't need an antivirus on your iPhone, point blank, you don't need it. Don't ever install an antivirus app on your device. Whether that's paid or free, you don't need it. Of course, they're all like security flaws on iOS, just like on any other device but you don't need an antivirus. Just recently, we talked about a bug, basically a security flaw on iMessages, where someone could just send you a message, you won't even notice it, you won't receive a message, but it will be sent to your device, and that way, the tracker can basically take just like full control, full access on your device. That was fortunately patched with iOS 15, I believe 15.5, so, any older devices will still be in risk of that attack, but of course, if you have updated your device like you should, you won't have that problem. That's why the best way to actually deal with like any security flaws or hacks or things like that is always to update your device. Always make sure that you have your updates automatically enabled and always make sure that you install the security patches that Apple has been releasing. So right here, of course, make sure you go to automatic updates have everything turned on on automatic here and never install an antivirus app on your iPhone. Next up will be photo cleaning apps. There are a ton of photo cleaning apps on the App Store. Some of them are free, but they require different subscriptions and you will have even paid ones as well. Well, what they do is that they allow you to easily find duplicate photos on your device. That way you can remove those and of course save a ton of space on your device. Of course, that's really cool and 
may be very useful for a lot of people, especially if you have a device with lower capacity. But on iOS, since iOS 15, we have that feature built in into the Photos app. So you don't need any of those apps that will clean the photos or the contacts. You can do both of these tasks simply by using the contacts app or the photos app. They will find duplicates automatically allowing you to merge those or delete the ones that you don't want to use and have of course more free space on your iPhone. Next will be alternative app stores. As you probably know, if you have been using an iPhone in the last few years, there are a ton of alternative app stores that you can download actually on your device, allowing you to get like all kinds of different apps that are not officially accepted on the app store. Now, it's basically something that will happen on iOS, but that will be controlled. So side loading is coming to iOS. It should come next next year, especially it will happen in Europe. I don't know about any other places, but in Europe, it has to happen because of the laws. So those will be, of course, controlled by Apple. But the ones that are actually active and that you can get on your device, I would suggest that you never download third party app stores on your device because from them, you can download another type of app that you shouldn't have on your iPhone. And those are like cracked apps, apps that will basically add more features or unlock features of current apps that you can find on the app store. So let's say there's an app on the app store that is free, but it actually requires a payment or something like that to enable some of the premium features. Those cracked apps will offer you to have those features for free but they're never secured. You never know what's happening in the background, what they're tracking on your device and whether they're doing stuff, something shady in the background or not. So the best thing you can do is avoid those apps, cracked apps and alternative app stores. Don't get them on your iPhone. Now, one of the most important parts of your device is of course the battery and there will be apps that will just run the battery out of your iPhone. Those apps aren't apps that should should be on your device. So those are basically poorly coded, coded apps that will just consume a ton of battery. So the best way to find those apps is going to your settings, go to the battery settings here. And what you will find here is a list of apps that are currently using the battery of your iPhone. So you will see here a list of apps, of course, at the top will be the apps that you use the most. So if you go into show activity right here, you can see how much time you have spent on that app and how much battery it has used. If those two don't mesh together, so if the usage time is way, way less than the battery percentage that is using, of course, if it's not like a heavy game or something like that, then that is an app that shouldn't be on your device. So for any app nowadays, you will find a ton of different alternatives. So always make sure that you choose the best alternative for any app that might be consuming a ton of battery on your device. Just head on to the app store. You, I'm sure you will find the pretty much a ton of different apps that are way better and will consume way less battery on your iPhone. And last but not least are outdated apps. Never use outdated apps on your iPhone. Just like iOS, it gets updated all the time with all the different, of course, new features, but as well as security fixes and all those patches that are really, really important. Apps will also get updated a lot with different fixes that they need. So always make sure that you have your apps up to date. So what I would suggest you do, the best thing you can actually do is head on to your settings so you don't have to worry about it and go to the app store settings. From here, you can just enable automatic updates right here and those apps will automatically be updated so you don't have to worry about having your apps up to date they will always be up to date that way you will have the latest fixes and all that stuff and those are the apps you want to have on your device not the outdated ones so that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and leave a like if you did of course don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i will see you on the next one